enterprise class structure. So you have different layers in a Pega platform application. The bottom most layer is the Pega platform. Next you have organization layer, which is a mandatory layer in any application. Division layer is optional. Uh, unit layer is optional. Implementation layer is mandatory. For example, consider a electronics retailer who sells electronics devices, mobile devices, laptops in stores, online and social media. The retailer has to meet the compliance re requirements of each jurisdiction based on the locality. In such a case, it would be a best practice to create separate copies of the application for each product or region or location so that he can keep the rules specific to that location or jurisdiction or that continent in one division. Say he can create multiple versions of the applications, one in Europe, one in Australia, one in Asia, so that each of the continent or region or location specific rules he can keep in the divisional layer. He, if he keeps everything in one layer, then it would be very hard, very difficult to scale up. It would be very complex in the future. It would be hard to manage. So you can slice and dice in such a way. So he can create multiple divisions, the multiple divisional layers for multiple regions. He, so that each region specific rule he will keep in the division layer. Rules which are common in the organization wide or the enterprise wide common rules will be kept in the organization layer. So if you see Pega platform layer contains the built-in assets that are necessary for processing cases and other working Pega platform applications. This layer also includes the assets that Pega platform uses. All the OOTP rules will be present in this layer in your application. Coming to the organization layer, it contains the assets that are used on an enterprise-wide basis. For example, access to an external customer table is an integration point that you can add to the organization layer. This can be reused across the organizations, across multiple divisions, across units, across multiple implementation layers in your entire enterprise. For example, if your organization has a common email correspondence header template, then you can keep that in this layer so that all the templates defined in all the layers, all other top layers can reuse assets from this org layer. Divisional layers are optional and they contain assets used on a division-wide basis. Assets in the division layer may apply to a line of business, a region or a brand. For example, say assume you have a service level agreement SLA rule that defines the expected response time to a customer complaint in the division layer to enable all applications within the division to use that SLA rule because throughout the division, all should comply to the timing requirements. Then you can create an SLA rule because it is common to all the implementation layers in that reporting to that division or all the applications in that division, all the business units in that division. Then you can create that common SLA rule in the division layer. Unit layer is again, another layer on top of the division layer. So here it is not mentioned, but it, it is above the division layer. You have a unit. If you enable the division layer, you can optionally enable the unit layer, which contains assets that are used on a unit wide basis. Now the final one is the implementation layer, which is the leaf layer, end most layer. Implementation layer contains one or more applications customized for a specific division or line of business. So all the customization, specific customization, specific to one division, specific to one line of business, specific to only one unit, those things you will keep in the implementation layer. For example, consider a clothing retailer who consists of two brands of stores. Each brand can create its own implementation layer of per brand specific assets, logos, brand specific things you can create in the implementation layer, which are specific to only one brand. If it is common for the entire org, then you will keep in the org layer. If it is specific for only one brand or one store or one implementation of an application, then you will keep in the implementation layer. 
such as styling and some policy specific to one application or one sub unit or one line of business so you can also see this view so this is the enterprise specific that is the bottom most most reusable layer next you have division wise division specific things you will keep in the upper layer application specific you will keep in the top most layer so as you can see in the top most layer you can use reuse things from the uh, enterprise layer that is org layer you can also reuse from division layer you can also keep your own specific customized rules you might have thought of what is enterprise class structure that is nothing but this this is the organization wide class structure different class structures 